I'm proud to present this award on um, Sari Von Doyle. Um, she's done some incredible things. Um, she's a student at Great New Bedford, Vogue Tech, um, and has raised $20,000 for members of the military in the past three years through her own independent, independently established organization, Operation Care Package, and Military Pen Pal. Um, I'm sure since the story is written, I'm sure she's been doing a lot more. Um, and she's facilitated the sending of 2,500 letters to troops and veterans. Um, and she starts her day at 5 a.m. So kudos to that right there, because <laughs> I cannot do that. Um, to feed her family chickens, uh, care for her sister with autism, and answer a bunch of emails. Then she takes diesel service tech classes at the Votech School. And she has a selflessness, determination, and love for helping others, which is why she is the South Coast Youth of the Year. because this was the first business person award. So first of all, I, I do want to just say a couple of quick things. First of all, I do love making suits. So, you know, and, and when you're a business person, to be able to do what, what you do every day and to say you love it is just really, really important. But what's important about this award is that it, it, it talks about um, being more than just a business person, more than just paying taxes and employing people. It has um, everything to do with fact that we should, uh, as business people, have a self-interest, but in, in the mayor's words uh, uh, about a year ago, in the talk post words, um, uh, 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 self-interest rightly understood, and rightly understood means that we understand that we live in a community and that we have a role and a responsibility. So I hope that this award every year goes to those business people who recognize that there's more than just employing people that there is a responsibility to the community that every business person has for the growth of, of, the, of the community. Dr. Bivens uh, could be recognized for any number of contributions he offers daily uh, as the director of Rem emergency medical services at St. Luke's Hospital. His job is basically to make a difference in people's lives and he could be recognized solely for that contribution because according to uh, the South Coast Health Management and people that we spoke to, he does it extraordinarily well. And they uh, praise his leadership and as well as his medical ability and just his caring in that environment. Uh, but he went above and beyond that as well. Um, Dr. Bivens, as you probably could imagine, sees the impact of opioid abuse and addiction every day. Um, and so, he took a step that he did not have to take to advocate for ways to prevent pain that did not involve opioids, for ways to help people without uh, forcing them to run the risk of addiction. Um, he advocated for a state level change to a non-narcotic, non-addictive pain reliever um, and helped make that change happen. Um, and if you've seen how many people are working to end uh, the addiction problem that we have and the overdose problem we have, just take a moment to imagine that that was not an easy process because his advocacy was happening at a state level. And so across the state, his work has had impact. Uh, it was a successful project. And right now I can tell you that uh, locally in the South Coast and beyond soon, if not now, um, the emergency medical services, the ambulances now have an option that is non opioid it is an IV Tylenol option to accept this award on behalf of everybody who's working on these issues thank you and Michelle Laranger has been there from the beginning one quote from the story on her work said she makes moments that are difficult into teachable moments Another said she has been the central figure in the agency's development. She's been a tireless advocate for the center and victims. 
Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that has ever happened, said Margaret Mead. And what an honor and a privilege to be among all of my fellow civic leaders here today who are doing just that. I congratulate you all because we are changing the South Coast world.